In order for an infection or disease to happen, six elements must be in place. This process is known as the chain of infection. The first element in the chain is an infectious agent which can cause a disease. It could be a virus, bacteria or fungi. The second element is the reservoir or the place where the infectious agent lives. It can be a person, an animal, soil, food, water, etc. Then we have a port of exit, which is the way the agent leaves the body. This can happen through the mouth if a person coughs or sneezes, through a cut if a person is bleeding, during diaper changes or toileting. The next element is the mode of transmission, which is how the infectious agent is transmitted from one person to another. It can be in form of droplets, direct or indirect contact, or through airborne transmission. The fifth element in the chain of infection is the port of entry, or the place where the infectious agent enters another person's body. This is similar to the port of exit, so it can be a mouth, nose, eyes, an open cut, etc. Finally, we have a susceptible host. It's either a baby, an elderly person, or someone with a weakened immune system. To prevent the spread of the disease, one of the links in the chain of infection must be broken.